We're going to be using acrylics to decorate these clay rattles. Um, uh, we suggest acrylics so that it dries and if your hands are wet then they will not uh, uh, make the paint be affected that's on there. Um, so acrylics are basically just plastic. Uh, the, it will dry as plastic. So you have to be careful because it will not come out of clothes. Uh, what I'm going to suggest is that you pick uh, three or four colors as your base and then you can um, go in as it dries and add more details. It dries rather quickly so um, you don't have to worry too much about letting it sit for a while. Uh, I'm going to dip the tip just like we always do and take a big brush. I always work general to specific. I'm just going to cover this here. You don't want to lay it on too thick otherwise you lose the texture of your clay. And there's no need to scrub on it, you just let it work its way onto the clay. Don't paint the bottom because that's where your name is. Now when you need to switch colors, um, what you want to do is wipe your brush off on a paper towel because you don't want all that paint in your rinse water. So wipe most of it off, then you swirl it down in the water, and we always wipe off on the side. We don't want to tap that brush on the side because it will splatter all over things. So I'm looking. It's looking like it's clearing up here and I'm going to wipe the water out of my brush because I don't want it to be, I don't want the next round of paint to be watered down. And so then I've selected, this is kind of a deeper red than the uh, more orange red here. But, so that's, there's a couple reds on here. So you can see it's a little bit uh, wet on my brush, so that's why it's turning pink as it goes over that dry red paint. So I will need to make sure that I go and make a second coat. Now here you can see I've gone over a little bit too far, so I could come in with a small brush and I can fix these little areas up because that red has dried really quickly. But I can also come in, of course rinsing my brush out the proper way, I can come in now with my small brush and I can paint those stitches. You don't want to do those right away because we want to have the base color on there first. All right. Um, and I might even just put a little bit in that little place between where the seam, where the seam is just to kind of accentuate that. Uh, I can probably wait for that to dry and put a little bit of black in that crack too. Why don't I show you that? It's already dry. Acrylic dries really quickly. I'm just very carefully putting that into that seam it really accentuates that. And I'm going to, of course, rinse my brush out and get some red and go over those stitches now. But 
but I gotta slow way down for this detail area. Work general to specific. You want the big areas done first, and then you work on the more specific things like the stitches.